So I've been playing around with adding support for the TO and the reel. Uh, and one of the things I wanted to make sure I added was metering. So right now I can I can turn the gain up and down on the on the TO or the reel. Uh, I've just got channel one and two here, and I'm uh, turning the gain up and down. Um, and you can control phantom power, high pass filter, stuff like that. But I wanted to show what the meters look like. Um, up top here you can see that there's, this is a stereo meter, um, this is a mono meter, and they can be positioned on the top or the side. Um, and I'm just using some feedback to show the input level on channel one and two, and then the peak level on the two channels. And in this case I've set it up so that if I if I was to click on either of these, I'll just reset them, reset the peak levels back down again. So if I start playing uh, a bit of music here, uh, you won't hear the music, but you can see the meters. Um, this uh, is showing both channels. This is showing left and right, and I can um, I can move these meters around however I like. The on the bottom at the moment, I can go on the left or the right or the top, however you want to have them look, and um, I set this up right now so that um, the, it's showing the peak level here. Um, but I also had a little feature that I wanted to have so that if I wasn't watching a channel and it started to clip, um, it would automatically bring itself out of clip, um, just using a trigger to, to watch for the, for the level. So if I, if I brought the level up here, uh, let's say I bring it up to around I don't know, 25, 26 dB, um, getting pretty hot here, we're getting uh, peaks. This is a full scale peak, so um, 0 dB is full scale. Um, and then, uh, so you know, I've got some decent level in there, but it's pretty hot. If I happen to, um, whatever the input is, if the input happens to get uh, even hotter um, coming in and I happen to not be watching that channel, I, I wanted to be able to pull it at a peak. So as I increase the level here coming in, um, at some point the uh, the channel will, will clip and uh, as it as it's um, um, as it clips it actually will will bring itself back out of out of uh, clip automatically by um, by reducing the, the level you see until it until it's in a place where it's not peaking anymore over here you can see when it peaks yeah, instantaneously and you see the see the gain drop as it as it tries to take itself out of, out of peak. So each time it peaks, it's, it's dropping the gain down to sort of minus here. But I had this set so that the clip light would stay on constantly if it ever clips so that uh, I can make sure that um, I know that those channels have been clipping. So they're still, uh, they're still pretty hot, but they're, they've adjusted themselves back down. So let's, uh, let's do that again. I'm going to take the input down quite a bit um, so that uh, let's take it down here uh, reset these so that they're back to normal um, let's take our gain up a bit um, I'll just do one of the channels so I'll take this this one up to a, say 30 dB and it's sitting pretty hot minus two now if the input level happened to come in hotter um, as I start increasing it you see it start to clip and but it drops itself out back out of clip. So you see it's fixed itself and, and drop, dropped itself down. Every time you see this turn orange, it's dropping the game by a dB just to make sure that it stops clipping. And this can just stay on to show you that it did at one point clip. And then I can just reset it again. Um, so I found that kind of handy. Um, so anyway, that's what the meters are all about. Um, we've got a mono and stereo meter and, you know, support for the Rios and the Tios now. Hope you find that interesting.